With us today, we have Dr. Eddie Ramirez, who's the director of the research department here on the Weimar Institute. And Dr. Ramirez, we've been talking about sleep, and I understand this is a subject that you're very passionate about. So I'm hoping maybe you can help us to understand what the importance of sleep is, especially in this day and age when we have things like smartphones and people are staying up late completing assignments and doing different types of jobs or even working the night shift. That's right. Sleep is essential for life. You know, I can have somebody on a laboratory in which we're measuring things inside of them, and I don't let them sleep for two, three days. You will be surprised how your body goes crazy in those only two, three days of not sleeping. Mm -hmm. The brain starts to imagine things that are not there. People start seeing hallucinations. They start getting tremendous levels of anxiety. They start getting mm -hmm. spasms. Man, the body is just going haywire just for not sleeping two, three days. That's how important sleep is. That's why sleep is essential for life. You know, it's interesting that you mentioned that the effects are so drastic and so sudden when people are not sleeping at all. And I think for many people that might not be the case, but perchance they're just not getting enough sleep each night. So I'm wondering if, if maybe is there an optimal time to go to sleep and an optimal amount of time to be asleep each night in order to not be getting any type of negative effect? That's an excellent question because not too many people are talking about this. Uh -huh. Our bodies have internal clocks inside of us. So it's not the same if you sleep your eight hours and you went to bed at 1 a.m., let's say, mm -hmm. and compared to somebody that went to bed at 8 a.m., the level of an important and most uh, antioxidant hormone of the body by the name of melatonin, the melatonin peaks around 9.30 in the night. In mm -hmm. other words, if you go to bed at 12 a.m., you actually miss most of the melatonin of the night compared to if you went to bed at 9 a.m., at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. So your body is programmed to rest early. So those people that say, oh, doctor, but I'm a, a, a night owl. Uh -huh. You know, I work better in the evenings and so forth. Study. They put all those night owls camping outside. Every single one of them became a morning person. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> so if people are not getting the amount of rest that they need each night, but then a lot of times we hear about people sleeping in in the morning. That's right. Are they gaining any benefit from staying in bed after the sun has come up and maybe waiting until 10 o'clock to go on and start their day? That's a great question. And, and again, the answer relies on the melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone of the darkness. Only when there is complete darkness, melatonin starts to secrete. So if you think that you're going to stay in bed as after the sun came up and catch up that extra hour or so, you're basically wasting your time. Hmm. There's little benefit because the melatonin is shut down. Even though you have your eyes closed, your eyes detect their light and shut down. You want to catch on sleep, you go to bed earlier. You go to bed at 8 p.m. or so forth. So something else that we've heard about too is sleep cycles. Uh, sometimes we hear about sleep cycles such as there being a sleep cycle of three hours or an hour and a half. Is there such a thing? And perhaps if somebody is waking up in the morning and they notice that they still have an hour until they need to be somewhere, is there a benefit in staying in bed that extra hour? That's a really good question. And yes, there are sleep, sleep cycles. Not all the sleep is the same. There's sleep that is deep sleep. There's sleep that is superficial sleep. So when somebody is waking up too early, what they need to do, they need to stay in bed with their eyes closed in complete darkness. You still are getting a little bit of benefit. There's still some melatonin that has been secreted. And here's the secret. At the time that you're supposed to wake up, expose yourself to bright light 30 to 45 minutes, go for a walk or something. Mm -hmm. In that way, the cycle gets educated. Mm. So more versus the serotonin will be increased during the day. And then the level of serotonin determines how much melatonin you get at night. So by increasing the serotonin of the day, you improve the quality of the sleep at night. So you mentioned kind of setting up your body in order to have a routine. How long can that take for people? 
It can take just a matter of two, three days if you're exposing yourself to bright light early in the morning. In a program, we get people with severe sleep pro problems. For years, they have not been able to sleep mm -hmm. as we expose them to bright light therapy. In a matter of a few days, they start sleeping like a baby. Incredible. So perhaps people who are thinking that they're night owls can really, in a matter of days, realize that they aren't. <laughs> or go camping, as I was saying. <laughs> you know, when you're camping, uh, you can only do so much. You know, the stars come up and so forth. You chat with your uh, friends and you need to go to bed, you know. Uh -huh. But the artificial light of blue light at night is what is uh, disturbing your sleeps. So we've learned about the benefit of daily rest, but I've also heard about a weekly rest cycle. Is mm -hmm. that something maybe you could share about? That's some fascinating research about that. So we have circadian rhythm, that's the one that we have daily cycle. Uh -huh. Now we have discovered something that is called the circa septum. Circa mm -hmm. septum is a cycle of seven days that not only humans, but every living thing has a seven day cycle. Mm -hmm. and. Research shows that that cycle, um, the ideal time to rest for that weekly rest is at sunset on Friday. Wow, incredible. Well, Dr. Ramirez, I really appreciate you sharing with us about these benefits of rest, and I'm hoping that we can implement them and maybe find out that we're not night owls. After That's right. All. Every single one of us was lived to live in the day.